that house cannot stand. We should know that the welfare of any house depends on its accord. Unity is good, but only in the appropriate atmosphere. When we lack unity, our testimony is useless. Unity is to minimize our differences and maximize our resemblances. Unity is something we should guard at all costs. We should put in mind if we undo what the other does, the unity will surely fall. With the unity come strength and grace. A failure to respect the divine commandments stands in the way of unity. When we lack unity, our testimony is a waste of time. The gospel is good news, but there is no good news in fighting in this union. How can we proclaim reconciliation to others when we are not ourselves reconciled? How can we call the world to unity when we remain disunited? It is similar to the saying, united we stand, divided we fall. By union we live, and by disunion we expire. What happens to a house when it is divided and not made single in one spirit? We are divided if we are based on the philosophy of man rather than on the word of the Lord. Division creates a place in which sins flourish. Division brings confusion. People with the spirit of division are disloyal people. They destroy homes, relationships, teams, business, and churches. It is divided, then it will be unable to stand as its foundation has been cracked. We are here on earth to complete one another and not to compete one another.